during the regional qualifier 2017, Kyler took it 2-0. Um, played really well, and as we know, he ended up winning the whole tournament. Um, it's only 9.30 for me, thankfully, so it's Three, not that uh, two, not that late one. for me. I You're on the other side of, of the NA. I got a lot of I got a lot of night left in me, so I can sit back, relax, and watch and enjoy some really awesome Brawlhalla here. Kyler and Aquarium jumping into game one: the Scarlet versus the Hatori. High de high force, low defense. We're gonna see if that plays into any factor. Aquarium going for that neutral sig read, getting punished hard for it, and Aquarium now is uh starting to take a is starting to take a few hits, but he fights back with his own with that side sig pinching Kyler on the side, doing a lot of damage. Uh, I think he was hoping that it would have been the downward angle. It likely would have killed. Nonetheless, he's not going to complain about doing all that damage. And Kyler is close to death here. A Sig will do it. And this is going to be a very difficult position for him to get back from. But this is not something we haven't seen him in before. So he kind of pulled back a similar uh, strategy when he was playing a little earlier against Hero. He got down in the first game and he started changing up his playstyle to adjust. And he actually started being very successful, even though he ended up losing the game in the end. So already seeing how he's adjusted in this game, he's already equalized the damage in the stocks. So it is not too far to say that he could actually take the advantage of this game. Yeah, he's done a really good job. He does take stock number one when it looked like Aquarium had that locked up. And Kyler is going to ha is going to try his best to extend this here. Um, he's, he's getting the sword combos, good reads, good plays, a uh, lot of damage, but that Sare will be enough for Aquarian to take the first stock. But good job for Kyler there uh, to take that for, or take that first stock before Aquarian and get a little bit of damage on top. Uh, he's got to be careful though. Every hit from Aquarian is gonna do a lot of damage on this Atori, and he gets hit with that neutral sick. It's like four hits, and he already tied the game up. It's it's kind of it's almost unfair sometimes. Well, unfair, fair, it doesn't matter. You got to push through. You got to deal with it. And that's what we got right now is both of these player players pushing through, trying to secure a win here and uh, dealing with the cards they get dealt. Uh, Kyler Alice trying to make his approach back on the stage. That neutral sig, a very decent option to try to anti-edge guard. But the timing was just off as Aquarian uh, takes advantage and throws Kyler down to the depths in the corner of the uh, boom. Uh, the, the blast zones, not the boom zones. I don't think. That's, uh, maybe if you're playing bomb skiball or something, that'll be a boom zone, but uh, who knows? Anything. Anyway, Kyler Alice and Aquarian getting this on right now. Kyler Alice fighting the side that Sig and the weapon throw. Aquarian can still maybe make it back. No, he doesn't quite oh, have the verticality. Not... Oh my gosh, Kyler Alice actually going down to try to secure the kill almost gave Aquarian the options he needed to get back to stage. That is really, really unfortunate. Or yeah, it, was, it could have been. It could have been. That was very close, but we have a we have a fairly close game. Uh, Kyler is taking a bit of a beating, but Kyler has got that sword that he's been using. His tried and true. The neutral sig. That was so fast, and he took that for that final stock just in four hits. And that's just the strength and power of the Scarlet and her SIGs. And he made such good work and such good use of it. And we are going into game two. And this is tournament game for Kyler Alice. He's going to have to work really, really hard to stay in this tournament. He's got I, the I skill. I think he's going to be doing that. I think he is going to work. As, I think he's going to be changing up his play style a lot. Because we see that when he kind of gets pushed into a corner. Um, it's going to be a very interesting way that he is going to possibly adjust. Three, but then again, Aquarian two, is going one, to make it a very one. difficult for him. Uh, because he showed a very strong showing with the, uh, the Lance play and the Hammer play. Especially when he had Kyler Alice off stage. The use of the side sig on the Hammer uh, to pressure the higher echelons of the... Uh, wall space. Ooh, Ooh, very nice unarmed play coming out from Aquarian. He's going to pick up the uh, lands first. Uh, this is going to be a very dangerous approach. Kyler has to find the right uh, force vectors in order to hit <gasps> Aquarian, and there is literally no way he gets back, right? No, he finds... No! He gets stuffed out again. Ground pound finding the wall a little too late. And Kyler just has no answers for this Lance. Aquarian is just playing out of his mind good, and Kyler has just not been able to find an answer 
for everything Aquarian has been doing. He's trying, and Aquarian's been tricky with those SIGs too, even though he's been missing. All of Scarlet's SIGs are movement options, so it's tough for you to punish them. And, oh, is this gonna be it? Nope. Oh, Kyler in a bad spot. That's gonna be it. And Kyler is on to tournament stock. Aquarian up three to one. This is uh, extremely difficult. <gasps> he drops the he drops the neutral sig. The uppercut not gonna connect. He just goes with the recovery, but it's not gonna have enough force behind him to secure a kill. And now he takes a hit from the hammer. That every single hit that he takes is just one step closer to defeat, and he can't afford any of that. Tries to make his way back out. Looks for that side sig. The recovery finally finding the kill off the top, and Kyler has the spear. Uh, but he's obviously going to be much more uh, capable and uh, comfortable on that sword. He's going to have to make it work the best he can, but he's got so little left in terms of stock extension that he can do. He has to do nothing but that. He has to reverse the restock Aquarian or else he is done. It's going to be tough, but he's been doing a good job so far. He just can't take really any more hits. This is kind of where he needs to be as far as hits go. That's a, that's no, oh! He just mistimed that ground pound. It would have killed. He had no dodge. It does kill. Kyler has taken this game all the way back. Kyler. It's possible for this to go either way right now. He hasn't taken that much damage. He just has to make sure he can keep Aquarian spaced out enough that he can continue damage. He has him off stage. He has him on the wall. And this is going to be one of the weakest points for Lance to be on. Now he has to be careful now that he's back on stage because this is a potential uh, high amount of damage that wasn't quite an optimal no. uh, throw approach. And I don't know if he has too much he can use to get back, but he does. He gets back and now he has the higher ground onto Aquarian trying to stuff out this... Oh, he doesn't go for the anti. He doesn't go for the edge card. He could have had a great uh, counter by getting a ground pound on that uh, push off column, uh, pushing him right down into the depths and getting that a lot more pressure onto uh, Aquarian while he had that lance. He missed out on a couple opportunities there, and that may cost him in the end. Ooh. Aquarian is looking for blood here. No, oh, but, no, he, he walked right it. into it. Player one wins, and that is Kyler's tournament, finishing fifth.